Well, it's a nice day and, and the bees are out foraging, so I figured today is a good day to get that, that super aggressive hive inspected. It's the last one that I have to do. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long, but this hive, it's like, it gets so bad sometimes that I have to walk away from it literally for a few minutes and come back later and finish it. But um, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if, I, if I'm going to find swarm cells or what. So got to get it over with and might end up having, I don't want to get anything like real, you know, involved like doing splits and stuff like that, but uh, might have to. Well, time to get at it. Not in a hurry, but there's a there's another one that I want to check for swarm cells before I leave tonight. Get a little smoke on them. Yep, there's bees. There's bees in there. No joke. These bees also like to crawl up my pant leg and get me in the legs. I get quite a bit of that. Think we have any drones? This whole side's nothing but drones. And this whole side here is nothing but drones. All kinds of nectar, pollen. Drones and brood. Drone brood and worker brood is what I mean. This is the only hive I have that I'm not feeding and I, I don't think I need to. That's nothing but drones. The bees are getting riled up now. Here they come. Yep. I got a couple more queen cups on here, but I gotta check them. See what's in them. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I didn't find any eggs. I, saw, I found some queen cups. <clears throat> Lots of drones. Um, I didn't get stung to death. But I put the, the cover back on it, the, the inner cover, because you know, it just helps contain them. i got to take this top box off and see what's going on underneath. And that might be where the, the stinging action starts. Here it goes. There's some bees in there. This is nectar, pollen, and larvae. So that queen's in this area right in here, so I need to be careful. I didn't expect to see that right here so soon. So I got some brood, 
pollen, nectar. There's lots of brood down in this bottom. That's where the queen's at. She's laying down here like she should be. Another decent frame of brood. Well, I'm I'm glad that there's no swarm cells, and it, it's not really as populated as, as I thought. Although it's still somewhat populated, more than my bees usually are this time of year. But what I want to do now is I just want to take this box off. I want to switch out my bottom board because this bottom board needs painted, and uh, this is the perfect time to do it. So that's what I'm going to do next. few dead bees on the bottom board, but it's not too bad. Put down the new bottom board. I use these drywall shims, I put them underneath the, the bottom board to get it to jack up the back side of my hive. Just to get a little bit of tilt. Lots of honey in this one. Get off of there. That's the first, this is the first honey super of the year. And it's just foundation, so they got some work to do. May end up taking a queen excluder off, but I might as well do this now. This, this hive is strong enough. Now hopefully I remember that I need to put one more frame in this honey super. But like I said in the last video, I always make that mistake every year. And up the cross tone. I don't think I'm in any danger of any swarms because next week it's dropping down into the 50s again and things might slow down a little bit. They got some room in this hive to expand. And that's it. All done with this one. Okay, so the one thing that I have left to do is I want to take this hive right here. And it, it, I know that it's probably overpacked um, because when I checked it two weeks ago or three weeks ago, it, it was getting to that point. And um, this is like these are these those resource hives that Michael Palmer kind of made famous you know, about ten years ago. He I don't know if he still uses these, but he used to. And these are four frame nukes. Um, this is stacked like two. This is like a two by two by four setup. But this side here, this side's empty, this 
side here, um, I know that it has bees in it, so I want to take some of those bees out, and I have another hive that's very weak, so I'm going to stick some bees in there. That'll like sort of like lower the population of this hive a little, a little bit, and then help the other other hive out. But um, this is what I use these. I use these four frame nukes for resource hives, and they don't have to be four frame nukes. It could be any any kind of a hive as a resource hive. But I I do like these. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to call it a night.